In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a businessman silhouette six option infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have made this silhouette design of the businessman uh, with the arms uh, raised or expanded. And then when I click, it will show you the first option and then the second option, the third option comes, the fourth option, fifth and sixth as if this uh, businessman is throwing the balls from this hand all towards to this left hand. This is fully editable. You can change the color of this businessman. So for example, I have just made another slide some with some different color. You can see here whichever color you want, you can just change it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. I have created this uh, silhouette businessman uh, design here as you can see here these are all separate items you can see here you can just give any color as you uh, like for example if you want to just change the color to some other color also it is very easy to do that one so first of all I'm just going to add a new slide and I'm going to copy the silhouette design here uh, it will take uh, time for me to explain this one so I'm just copying and pasting from my existing slide and then I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to add six oval shapes select the oval shape and just click it and the height and width I'm going to make as maybe 1.35 or 1.4 whatever you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and you can just select any color as you like and i want to give some a shining effect for that let me just control d duplicate this go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more oval shape a bigger one and whatever you can see which is visible like a crescent i'm just going to select that and this bigger uh oval shape by pressing the or holding the shift key then go to merge shape and just say subtract and then I'm just going to bring this here and give the color as white you can see here and then right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here I've just increased the size and I'm just going to paste it at the corner and then you can go to fill and you can increase the the transparency so it gives some kind of a, a shiny effect here and then go to insert text box i'm just going to add the number one there zero one center align i'm going to use the font open sans it's up to you whichever font you like you can add it increase the size and put it exactly in the center and change the color to white so you can see here i've added this so i'm going to select all these three highlight all these three and press ctrl g to group it so i'm just going to move this a little bit here where as if it is just throwing the balls from this hand to this hand and then you can just go to insert you can add some detailed text here and this you can add a, a title also but i'm just not going to add the title at this stage okay and then i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d i'm just going to copy it here this is my second ball ctrl d this is my third ball fourth the fifth ball and the sixth ball coming to this hand you can see here and just change the numbers two three sorry four five and six now it's up to you to change the color just select this one this oval shape and whichever color you like you can just change according to your requirement you can see here what are some nice colors you can use the gradient also if you want you can add some gradient colors also so let me just add the last one now 
or you can give one shading also from light color to the dark color that also looks very good and then i'm just going to add this press ctrl d add the detail text you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate this so you can see here almost we have done the design so you can just arrange it if it is not arranged properly you can just arrange it as i said this is fully editable you can just select all this and you can just uh, go to format and you can give some different colors also if you want you can give the color of the tie or some other color whatever color which you feel better you can just use that one so let's see the animations i'm just going to close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first uh, oval shape and i'm going to give add animation i will say float in not float in exactly i'll just go to more intense effects i will say peak in not float in peak in so peak in and then i'm for this i'm just going to use more intense effect stretch stretch i can just say from right and this should happen after previous now it's easy for me i'll just select this one animation painter click this and then select the text and copy to the second one likewise you can just do one by one you can see here you can change the direction also for example now i want this one should not come from the bottom it should come from the top so i can just change this uh, direction and this also i want instead of right it should come from left you can see here i'm just going to select and this is the last one so let me just do the animation play all you can see here it's coming first second third fourth fifth and sixth That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.